Good morning. Um, I'm going to show here um, an installation guide to connect uh, remote point of sale locations for um, usually a uh, restaurant chain with uh, many cafeteria or restaurants or outlets all over the world that will um, need is uh, replenishment of its stores uh, for raw material and uh, food ingredients from a centralized ERP system and this is how they all can be done using open source tools. I've modified the uh, point of sale uh, system from Unicenter POS and uploaded it here together with the uh, point of sale uh, server side integration in my repository in SourceForge Unicenter POS. You can download this too. However, for the active MQ, you have to get it uh, on your own and uh, then run it on a cloud service. And after you do that, go to its uh, bin directory and execute this uh, command. I've done so. And here it is running with an empty, uh, empty active MQ. I all, I'm running it all from my um, repository, my own uh, local hosts. Same time I've run um, Idempia server. When you've run Idempia server, you can then go to its um, Felix console and install the um, plugin that is downloaded. I've done that. Um, as you can see here, post integration and press run so that it gets active and pack in its um, server side. So as you log in, you will find that the point of sale integration is been uh, installed, and you're ready to export the products and customers list to the queue that's on the cloud. So your cloud message queue is ready. Log into your server side. At the same time, uh, when you first run your open browser post, it will ask you if you want to install the default database, which is the Derby database SQL, Derby SQL. You say yes. Is a lightweight uh, database that can be run on the fly so that you need not uh, set up MySQL, Postgres, or Oracle, but you have the option to do so. So, to run Open Bravo Post just now, I issue the command um, <coughs> command is a uh, Your in center post post the job dev run it and this is what happened and just click on the login as an administrator and ready to start it. Let me put this onto a different screen. <coughs> Uh, all three running. You have that um, you have you on the cloud. We have the integration jar already installed to item here. So when you call the menu, you find post integration there being installed. Just drag these two favorites, and we can start. Now. Uh, I have preset it to be local host, so you can um, change this to your cloud IP. And these are all preset, you need not change them. However, you have to select one by one the products that you want to send over and also the customers that you have. And your price list will have both selling and purchase price. 
uh, you leave this alone, but we can press this uh, later for the next uh, product, and then you just uh, send them over. It will be quite fast in a few seconds, and you have seven products and three customers been sent, and you can check them on the ActiveMQ by pressing the queue step. You see the customers and products that are able to click on them. You see that the XML has been sent. And now the point of sale over the world is ready to receive your XML that contains the information of your products so that they can begin uh, selling. Now before we do that, uh, oh yes, which we will do that from the point of sale. So as you know, point of sale, they are mostly kitchen stuff and uh, um, cooks and no accountant, so all they're going to do is sell, sell, sell. So is for each point of sale, you can name them according to your item peer or ERP uh, warehouse name or location name. And this will be the IP of your cloud service. And you can leave the others blank. I have disabled uh, memo and closed cache because I'm going to keep this very light. These are introduction by contribution from Gintech Venezuela under Eduardo Jill, my friend, who is now in Panama, who has got a big mega mall use of this point of sale, but I'm making this base very strictly just for running a supply chain. And you have to do this just once, uh, this post synchronization. And you can see that the seven products and three customers have been synchronized. I should have shown you the um, that it was empty here, but here you are, you have all this being created. But let's put in another category. So we can go back to the server side and allow all the other uh, customers to, I mean, your point of sale locators to get this, consume this. Uh, as every point of sale take from the product list, this is not zero rise because it's kept up there for reference for all the point of sale that you will install or set up to take the same list of products. So it does not matter on the quantity storage because it will all be centralized on the back end. In the front end, it's a sell, 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 and the back end just send, send, send to the kitchen by calculating the number of sales that's been sent back. So do not delete this until all your point of sale have got it now. If, as all your point of sale has got it, then you can delete it. Customers, um, yeah, we don't need the customers anymore. We just need more products, so come here. Send a new set of products. You have to put send all. Uh, let's send some bushes. Okay, so uh, let's do that. If you keep these blanks, um, they will not be sent again. It seems that the customer is sent again, but that's fine. I do not wish it to upload the customers anymore, but they can do it, and it's uh, just some more extra updating. Okay, so the new products has been sent, and go back to your point of sale under the maintenance. Um, synchronize again. So you it's going to your cloud and uh, fetch the new uh, products. And after that is done, you see three more products has been synchronized. So as you go and do your selling, you will have all this there. Okay? So let's understand uh, what is happening here. You have set up the post office, the FTMQ, the only one exposed on the cloud with your point of sale um, isolated and just dialing up and your uh, integration of your Idempia 2 can be offline and just dial up to the point of sale. So I'm keeping it very minimalist, IKEA style, and that once they are running um, by just sending this information one way once the, uh, and importing them into your point of sale, 
the as you operate your positivity, the others will automatically sing back at each order's limit. Let me show you. Now you need not um, you need not do this to send your orders back because as I say the kitchen people they are just busy selling and they are not accountants, no CIOs, no IT people. They'll just uh, do the selling and it's synchronized according to this order minute one. So every minute it is sent back. You can set to 10 minutes or 100 minutes or 1000 minutes, up to you. And you can check the uh, prompt, how the uh, orders every minute. You can check the timestamp here. There are no orders to synchronize. So now let's begin to do our business. Let's do some selling. Let's have a bush, uh, uh, a tool, and you can even look up actually for something. Uh, and you can see the stock, but I say this this stock is not something I'm looking at at the moment because uh, I'm only concerned about the replenishment and the sellers just don't care because they're cooking anyway, it's a kitchen. Uh, if you were to reduce the size of the buttons uh, under the resources, you can look online or in my forum. Um, you can have a barcode scanner to get things in. And this the scanning stuff. Let's have two of this. Of course, you can split a move table or uh, split split the sale. Okay, and. Um, Let's pay. Sorry, you can assign it to a customer, a loyal customer. And let's pay. You can put it on DAP, and this will be reflected in the ERP as a credit sales. At this moment, it's a point of sale. It's a cash sale, so that's been sold, and the you see it kick in immediately because it was within the minute and orders has been synchronized. So if you were to go back to the local queue and you refresh, you see that you have one order there. If you go in, you will see that the whole XML has been sent up remotely from the point of sale, and as orders are get sent on the item view side, you read all these orders. You will import queue, you will consume all these orders. If you do not want them to be consumed, put it under test, you can just put test, but I want to consume all these orders. Express this, make sure this is pointing to your cloud, just put the IP there, you don't have to worry about the ports. Um, it will be directly imported into a sales order with a, a prepare mode. So this is good. So if you look at the sales order, you see actually three order lines. To make correction there, three order lines have been uh, created. You open it. So here you are, 125 with this order line appearing, and you have the customer there. If you were to put on credit, you have to make sure you get your payment terms that has a pay schedule here. You will automatically populate your pay schedule and your aging analysis to control this for contract customers. If you are catering to a contract um, consumer in an outlet, like a canteen, a school canteen and so forth, Otherwise, it would be just walk-in uh, point of sale. So for credit, it will be here. And as these are processed, I will do the second part of this integration. This is spending. It will take me a couple of days to figure out the uh, raw material calculation from your so sales. Uh, we'll use the BOM, Bill of Material, to do some sort of uh, manual engineering that you calculate the flour, rice, sugar, even water, uh, all the ingredients, vegetable, drinks, bottles, eggs, chickens, meat, kilograms, 
and then um, they will then automatically uh, process this and figure out the raw materials that's been consumed and the replenishment rules will kick in and you will then move this um, movement virtually here to your locators All right. so as far as the ERP is concerned it has a single world view of everything that's happening uh, around the world of its uh, vendors uh, its, its post location and this is not something that um, the point of sale need to worry about okay this is um, ERP site uh, view and the point of sale basically just happily doing its business uh, doing sales <coughs> and uh, <coughs> selling away and as time goes on daily you receive goods into its stock so you need not worry about all this just selling okay and the stock uh, is will be replenished you need not know this you'll be replenished and um, the kitchen will receive his goods delivery from central purchasing drop shipment from the vendors well then that's um, all from me and um, I will um, this is um, what I talk about the whole supply chain so that you can automate and save big money um, where all the redundant stock checking recalculation replenishment how much has been spent can be removed from the costs of operations uh, equation that's it a good day from me here in the morning in Malaysia I'm Red One and have a nice day bye bye